Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to set up your GitHub website with any domain that you've purchased. In this example, I'll be using Google Domains. But for the first step, go ahead and make your GitHub website repo. And you can do that by going to your homepage of your GitHub and click on New. And when it asks you for your repository name, make sure to just type in whatever your username is. So in this case, it's live determined. Now do .github.io. And make sure you do exactly like that. That way, GitHub will recognize that this is going to to be your personal website and go ahead and just click public and uh, click this box if you want to and click create repository. Once you have done that, go ahead and go to the settings tab of your GitHub repo and scroll down until you see a section called GitHub pages. And here under custom domain, go ahead and type in the domain that you've purchased. In my case, this will be my personal portfolio website. So I'm going to type in right now and then click save. Once you have done that, it should say custom domain, whatever your domain is saved. And if you scroll down, it says your site is ready to be published at the domain that you put in. But for the second step, you will have to go to your domain provider that you've purchased your domain from and go to the DNS settings and then go all the way down until you see the custom resource records section or any section that looks similar to this. And in this first box, go ahead and type in www. In the second box, click CNAME. And in this third box, go ahead and just um, type in your username, your GitHub username, .github.io, and go ahead and click add. Now, once you've done this step, it takes usually a couple hours before you, you see the changes take effect but I'll resume the video once that's done. Now, as you can see here, when I go to my custom domain, you should now see your username .github.io. If you see this page, that means you know it's working. And so if you actually wanna upload your own website files, all you have to do is go back to your repo and upload them directly here, and then wait a couple minutes for the changes to take effect, and you go back to your custom domain, you should now see your new changes. So if this video helped you in any way, please like the video, and don't forget to subscribe.